The fall bridal season is kicking off around town with one big street party and one Ohio born president has an odd connection to antiseptic. Janelle Walton has today's list. Heather Marshall says she still has a long checklist for her upcoming wedding that's just weeks away. In preparation and doing all of that, it's just so exciting, but I never knew it could be so, in a way, so overwhelming. Don't worry, Heather. Help is on the way. The Reading Bridal District is throwing a big street party, bringing over 30 wedding vendors together in one location to help brides-to-be just like you. It's going to be all the vendors on the street, and uh, we'll, we'll have, there's also a package worth $10,000 that a bride can win. Brides can pick up one of these free books from Bride and Groom Planner at the party. Going on the website and browsing around different wedding vendors and sites and stuff like that, and then definitely try to get out to a show so you can meet vendors face to face. The celebration is tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the Reading Bridal District on Vincent Street. A lot of Cincinnati brides stop by Garfield Park to take wedding pictures downtown. The park is named after our 20th president, but the celebration didn't last long for Mr. Garfield after he was sworn into office. President Garfield died on this day back in 1881. He was only in office four months before before he was assassinated. In honor of this anniversary, we searched for other interesting facts about Mr. Garfield. Do you have any idea of who he could have been? Um, someone important. We found these photography students at Garfield Park. He's from Ohio. Um, my son's school is named after him. After Garfield was shot, doctors tried to pull the bullet out of his back but couldn't find it. So they kept poking at the wound, trying desperately to find it and pull it out. He likely died from an infection from doctors sticking their hands and unsterilized medical equipment in his back. Germ-killing antiseptics weren't around in America in 1881. For The List, I'm Janelle Walton.